For this episode, I want to introduce our PC software to you. First of all, please double-click this icon to open our PC software. Then you can see the interface like this. There are three parts. The first part is on the left and the two parts on the right. So please allow me to introduce all of them to you one by one. In the first part, you can see there are six icons here. Why there are six? Just because our robotic arm has six servos. All of them have ID number, ID 1 to ID 6. And each of them can control the certain servo. You also can find that their position is the same as the servos in the real robotic arm. So let us take one of them for more detail. Such as the ID 1, you can see there are two sliders here, the large one and the small one. The large one presents the position of servo. We can check the slider like this, and then we can find the position of the servo will change too. The figure here also will change. And the small one is the deviation of servo. Let us move to this part. You can see there is a red ball. It is the connection indicator. When you connect the PC software with the controller, it will change to green. When it changes to green, that means you can begin your programming. And let us move to this part, the right side. You can see there is a white ball. It can show the data after you change the position of the certain servo. I think you really want to make your own style action groups. So you can use these four buttons to make it. And this is the action tab. In another word is the running time of single action. We can change the time as you like. And this button is add action. When you change the position of the certain servo, please remember to click this button to save the data. Then you can see the data will be shown here. If you think this action is not cool, you want to delete it. You just click this line and then click this button to delete it. It's very easy. And this is update action. You can change the time, the position of the certain servo, and then click this button to save the data. The new one will replace the former one. And the last one is insert action. You can insert a certain action above the selected line. OK, let us move to the last part. About deviation, read deviation and the download deviation, I will tell you more in the next episode. Here is a box to loop. When you tick it, the controller will run the certain action all the time. And this is a play button. When you, collect, when you click this button, the controller will begin its performance. And when you click it again, it can stop. This button is reset servo. If you click it, all the figures here will change to 1500. I can show you like this and all of the servo will come to the middle position. And this is a button to open action group, which has added in your computer. And this button can save the action you have already made. There are lots of action groups in your computer. So you can choose one of them, such as the number 4, and then click this button to download it into your controller. These are single erase and all erase. You can choose one of the action group in your controller, then click this button to erase it. If you click this button, all the action groups in your controller will be disappear. And the last two ones are run action group and the action group stop. I think it's very easy for you to understand. So all of this is my introduction of PC software. See you next episode. Bye.